Hey guys, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go because I'm filming this on my phone, which my editor hates, but it is what it is. And my arms, like I'm holding my phone with my arms and I'm gonna tell you they're, they're not working right now, so I may drop you, but I wanted to do a quick update. Okay, I know I look like a hot mess. I know it, I know. Here's the thing, I just came from the gym, okay? This is day two of the gym. Now, if you've been following me, you guys know I had bariatric surgery uh, April 25th. And I'm filming this on July 6th. And I started a strength training program yesterday, okay? This program runs for two months, July and August. It's every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So today was day two. Today was arm day. Okay, I feel like I have a hair in my mouth. Oh my God, you guys, I'm a hot mess. Um, it was arm day today. Now I knew, I knew I was out of shape. I knew I was out of shape. I knew it. I did not know how out of shape I was, you guys. <sighs> my arms are dead. Like I can't lift them. Like I'm, I'm taking everything just to hold this phone and you can see I'm shaking. I couldn't even open. <laughs> I struggled to open the door to get out <laughs> of the gym. <sighs> oh my God, you guys, they hurt so much. Like I, I wanted to film this in a quiet place and I was parked right outside. Like the gym I go to, it's in my physiotherapist's office at the back. And I was literally parked right in front. And I didn't want them to be like, why is she still sitting in her car? So I'm like, no problem. I will drive to another location. And I literally drove not even a block, just down. I'm in a, like an empty parking lot of a school right now filming this. And to turn my steering wheel in my car, my arms are not working. Like it's probably dangerous for me to be driving right now. I'm not joking. Like my arms are not, they're not working. They're not going as fast as they normally do. It's, uh, but this is day two of the gym. You can tell I'm flushed. I'm not sweating. I'm glistening. Okay. I don't sweat. That's a lie. I sweat. I'm sweaty. I'm gross. Oh my God. So this is day two. Yesterday was day one. Yesterday was squat day. So I woke up today with my legs hurting and today's arm day and my arms are like going to fall off any seconds. Tomorrow is deadlift day. And then I think it's just the same three every week <laughs> for eight weeks. So why am I doing this? Well, I'm out of shape. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> obviously, I'm out of shape. I'm also trying to maximize my weight loss from my surgery. I'm trying to tone as I lose the weight. So hopefully I don't have as much excess skin uh, as if as I would have if I didn't tone, I'm probably, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna have a lot of excess skin. I, it, it's apparent, it's going to happen. Um, mostly my arms and my thighs, from what I can tell so far, that's where my excess skin is gonna be. Um, I'm not expecting too much in my stomach area because I did have a tummy tuck back in like, when did I have that? 2012, I think. So there probably will be some, but not as much. Um, yeah. But here I am in all my glory, all my sweaty glory. Um, I've got a long way to go. Okay. I'm not stupid. Um, for any of you haters who are watching my videos right now, oh my God, my arms, and feel like it's necessary to make comments and call me names and say horrible things. Um, if you feel it's necessary to do that, go right ahead. Um, but 
It honestly doesn't matter what you think. I'm doing this because I have to do it. I'm doing it because I want to do it. And I'm proud of myself for going to the gym for two days in a row and doing everything that my trainer asked me to do. I do not complain. Um, I will sometimes ask to modify an exercise if I'm really struggling with it. Um, but other than that, when I'm in the gym, I put everything I have into whatever is on the board for that day because I don't do anything half-assed. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And I keep reminding myself that the best of my ability on day two is not going to be the best of my ability on day 22. This is going to help me get stronger. This is going to help me um, with weight loss. This is going to help me so I can be stronger and better. And that's the point of this. And this is a lifelong thing. And I was not blessed with good genes. I was not blessed with hormones that work properly. Um, these are not excuses. I'm just saying that I'm not starting. I'm starting pretty far from the finish line. Let's just say that. I got a long way to go. Uh, I'm aware. It's okay. I will get there. If it's one thing I know about myself is I'm determined and when I put my mind to something, I do it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to my finish line and my finish line is probably not the same as your finish line or another person's finish line. Um, we're all unique. We're all individuals. We all have different goals and we're all on different journeys and some of us get there earlier than some other ones and that's okay. So um, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that everything I do on a daily basis helps me get to my finish line as quick as possible, make good choices, um, be consistent, and go from there. But I want to just give you a quick little update here. Uh, day two of the gym is done. Now, I did take measurements. Um, I don't know if I'm going to share those with you yet. I don't know if I'm going to share them with you at all, uh, but I did take measurements yesterday, kind of starting measurements, and I'll probably do measurements halfway through, so after four weeks, and then I'll probably do measurements again at the end after the eight weeks and see if we have any change whatsoever. Uh, of course, I am also um, uh, tracking my weight, so I'll have my weight yesterday. Again, I'll have the weight on week four and week eight. And then they're probably going to be doing another strength um, program uh, in the fall. So this will be July, August. They'll probably do one September, October as well. And I'm probably going to join that one too. So I'll have a good four months under my belt of strength training. So it'll be interesting to see where I am at the end of all of that. But this is day two done. I am hot and sweaty. I'm going to do my best to drive home, have a cold shower, and probably do nothing for the rest of the night because I don't think I can lift my arms. So let's hope that I can lift them tomorrow because I'm headed back to the gym for round three tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching this video. As always, I really appreciate your support. Um, if you're interested in learning about strength training or, um, bariatric surgery, um, I, I can talk about both, um, vertical sleeve gastrectomy or gastric bypass. Uh, I've had both, uh, I'm familiar with both and, uh, I would love to share my experience with you and answer any questions you may have. Now, keep in mind, I'm in Saskatchewan. Um, although my vertical sleeve gastrectomy was done in Tijuana, Mexico. Um, but my gastric bypass was done in Saskatchewan. So, uh, things are a little different, uh, from country to country, province to province. Uh, but 
I'm here for you. So if you have any questions, comments, please put them down below. Uh, as always, I read every single one of them and uh, I respond to most of them. Um, so yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.